Before doing the next few problems, we briefly review the Doppler effect. Here we have a source of sound S and a receiver or an observer O. If the source S emits a sound of a particular frequency, and if the source S and the observer O have a relative velocity with respect to one another, then the frequency that is received by the observer will be different than the frequency emitted by the source and we will claim that the sound has been Doppler shifted in frequency. In the two examples that you're going to hear, the first sound that you will hear will be that emitted by the source, the second sound will be that received by the observer. For example, in this case, the frequency heard by the observer is higher than the frequency emitted by the source. In this case, the frequency heard by the observer is lower than the frequency emitted by the source. If we call the frequency emitted by the source F sub S and the frequency heard by the observer F sub O, then the frequency heard by the observer is equal to V plus V sub O over V minus V sub S times F sub S. The V is equal to the velocity of the sound in the medium. The V sub O is the velocity of the observer and the rule is that it is positive if the observer moves towards the source S it is negative if the observer moves away from the source S. V sub S is the velocity of the source and the rule is that it is positive if the source moves towards the observer and it is negative if the source moves away from the observer. The next few problems that we do will illustrate the use of this equation.